Hey everyone, it's Margaret46550 and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about my new project this summer um, called Following Footsteps. And Following Footsteps, which I want to get to be a published novel, and a couple publishers I'm thinking about, I don't know, but I'd like if Harlequin took it up, but I doubt they will because it's 40% romance, 60% not romance. So, and Harlequin loves those over-dramatic romances. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit today, and I will be posting the reading of chapter one on here, on YouTube, sometime. I don't know when, but hopefully this has no spoilers in it um, as much as possible. But I'm going to talk about the things that Following Footsteps talks about, and the reason I'm making it, and Okay, so here we go. I have down to chapter 6 done, and the editing process will not take too long for the chapters because I've already kind of, when I was writing, I, I'm i not one to make many mistakes, which is a very good talent, um, if you want to call it a talent. And I'm currently working on chapter 7 when I woke up. The, the things how I get the title names is um, the, the title names are the first word or first few words of the chapter and I just thought that was kind of unique in how I leave my mark on the book and like chapter one starts out following footsteps just like the name of the book which I think is kind of unique and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the main character and it does take place in the vision of a boy and even if you think Ethel is a girl's name, when you when you don't know anyone who's a girl named Ethel, and then you say it to yourself a lot and go Ethel, 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 and not Ethel, like flowers, you think Ethel, like ethanol, then you can kind of look at it like, ooh, it sounds kind of manly, <laughs> a lot better than Gustafa. But <laughs> following footsteps is something I've been working on for since towards the end of February, so I haven't really been working on it that long, and I plan to have the book finished by the end of the summer, and I'm working on the technical stuff right now, that's why I'm not so deep in the book, I'm working on the mechanics, I'm working on talking to people who would be interested in covers, and I haven't even found a person who can do the covers yet. I thought I did. I have a great friend from Australia who usually does the artwork for my stories, which I put on DeviantArt, but she's really busy with finals, and her school's not out. Mine is. Um, I've been out for almost two weeks now, so it's kind of hard not finding the person to do the cover for, and that's a little manic because I can't give someone a week, so I want, I want to try and find someone now, as soon as possible, to just give them time to work on it and not be rushy, because I want it you know, you can judge a book by its cover, and I want it to be an eye catcher, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about some things in, there are three things I want to warn you about following footsteps. Um, all the characters, well, I would assume Neil is 18. But Mariah and Ethel, they're 18 year olds, they're seniors in high school, they go to Ply Green High School, a um, made up high school that is supposed to be somewhere around northern Indiana, along with Ply Green, it's supposed to be a small town, northern Indiana. Um, there are three things. There's homosexuality, uh, Neil is gay, but I'm not, and in the book, um, Neil is sometimes picked on for being gay, and in high school that's normal. But Ethel does it, and Ethel and Neil, they're they're great friends, friends, and Ethel um, kind of picks fun at his weaknesses, and then um, Neil kind of makes fun of Ethel's weaknesses. Um, that would be his appearance. He has red hair and freckles, so a uh, ginger, so he kind of gets made fun of that for that, so his recessive genes are technically his weakness, and if you make fun of your weaknesses and you get used to them, you become a stronger person, and like, 
that's true. It, it just is. So there's homosexuality in there, and I know that's a sin, but I'm getting to the other two sins now. So I'm not I'm not going to talk about homosexuality because you cannot have a civilized <laughs> conversation about sexuality anywhere on the internet, and especially not on YouTube. Number two, premarital. Um, <laughs> it's a brief scene, and uh, it's one. It's vital to the story towards the end of the story, and uh, n not towards the end. About towards the middle of the story. It's that's where it's nece that's where it's needed. Um, it's also to prove a point. Um, don't think of it as this whole book as some erotic parade, <laughs> like festival, like Fifty Shades of Grey. No, it's it's brief, and it's not very erotic. It's not very descriptive. It's not what you would call disgusting. It's to prove a point, and in it, I prove the point that physical connection will never be able to reach the importance of emotional connection. And in a, in, a, in a relationship, like a marriage, I know you need both for it to work out well, or in most terms you need both, but I'm proving a point that physical connection, you can't have a relationship with just physical connection. You need emotional connection, and that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to do with that point. So I'm not condoning it. Clearly, I'm not condoning it. I just put it in there for that reason, and I don't want to spoil too much, but it is vital <laughs> to chapters five and six, or six, five, six, five, five and six. So um, it needs to happen. <laughs> so I could either write about it or I could just imply it, but I think I need to write about it. Three. This is probably a spoiler, but at the end of the book, Thul commits suicide, and it's not just because of what happens towards the end of the book, it's really what happens all throughout Ethel's life. And Ethel is, a, is not very strong just because his father was never really there for him. He's in prison most of the book. His father's a felon. And his mother is dead. And the book, I forgot to mention, does take place about 19 years in the future. Not very futuristic, but, um, so, which is, it's still a little vital to the book. Um, uh, Ethel's mother would have needed to die somewhere around 2012, and that would be around the time, because Ethel died, I mean, Ethel's mother dies after she gives birth to him, so that's not really heard of much in, uh, in around this time, people usually don't die. <laughs> so, um, that's really the three basic things I needed to warn you about for following the steps. I'm going to be posting chapter one and, um, give you a basic idea of what Ethel looks like, looks like, and I'm not the best of artists, digital art. God gave me a, skip, a gift with writing, but he sure gypped me on the artistic skills. So, um, it's market 46550, and I will talk to you later. The train's coming, so I need to hurry. So, <laughs> I'll see you later.